Now in this lesson we're looking at addition and subtraction. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to simplify the following. And the first one, 8x plus 3x. Now, since both terms involve x, we can add them. Okay, recall that we can only add or subtract like terms. So 8x plus 3x, we can add them. They involve x, so it equals 11x. Our second example, 6m plus 3m minus 4m. Well, in each of these cases, m is involved. There's no other letters. So they are all like terms. So we can add and subtract. So let's think what we have. We have 6m plus 3m. Well, so far that's 9m. And then if we subtract 4m, we are down to 5m. Our third example, 7a plus a. Now if we consider that a by itself, we can put a number in front of that 1 to make it 1a. It makes the question a little bit easier. So now, they both terms involve a, they are like terms, so we can add 7a plus 1a, and that equals 8a. Example 4, m plus m plus m. Well, again, they're all singular m, aren't they? We can think of them as being 1m plus 1m plus 1m. And they're all the same, they're all m, so they're all like terms, so we can add 1m plus 1m plus 1m would equal 3m. Example 5, 3a squared plus 5a squared. Well, identifying the terms, are they like terms? Well, they are like terms because they both are a squared. So we have 3a squared plus another 5a squared. Altogether, we would have 8a squared. Now, our last question here in this lesson, 4ab plus ab minus 2ab. Well, that middle term, we can write that as 1ab. And because they are all involving AB, okay, they are all like terms, we can add and subtract them all. So we have 4AB plus 1AB. So far that's 5AB. But then when we subtract 2AB, we're down to 3AB.